Hi everyone, when you're working on your oral pre presentation, this is just one suggestion on how you might actually like to achieve it. So it's one of the simplest forms. You take the image um, that you're given to analyze and you paste it into a blank PowerPoint presentation. Now it can't be done in Google Slides because Google Slides doesn't have a recording option um, that we need. So it does need to be in PowerPoint, which I'm pretty sure the school has downloaded onto all your computers for you. But don't worry if you don't have PowerPoint, I will show you how to um, do it another way as well. So a few more suggestions. Okay, so if you're in PowerPoint and you've just pasted your picture in, you're probably on the Home tab up here. What you need to do is go to the Slideshow tab. And once you've clicked on there, you get all these options. Down below uh, the Slideshow tab, there's the Record Slideshow. So if you click on that, we're going to choose Start Recording from Beginning because we've only got one slide anyway, but it's generally a good rule of thumb that you want to start from the beginning. So we click on start from beginning and we'll get this pop up. Um, so select what you want to record before you begin recording. Uh, we want the slide and any animations that we might have created. We're not necessarily doing that this time because we didn't add any animations. Uh, and we definitely want the narrations and we want the ink or laser pointer um, if we choose those options to use within our oral presentation. So we want to leave those remained ticked. And then we simply click on start recording. Now, when we start recording, you'll notice that it comes um, as a slideshow presentation. There's nothing else around the screen except for that uh, picture, that slide that we've put up. But we do get this recording box up here. Now, what happens up here is we can click for the, to go to the next slide. You can still use the space bar or the page down key, and that will take us to the next slide if you've got more than one. We do have a pause button, so if you forget what you're saying and you're freaking out a little bit, you can just press on the pause button uh, and that will pause your recording. So it'll just pick up from where you take off. So we just click on resume recording when we're ready to go again. Then you'll notice that this is a repeat. So if you've totally stuffed up what you've said on there or you start giggling or you start having a coughing fit and you can't recover from it because you weren't quick enough to um, press the pause button before it started, we've got this option to repeat. So this means that you've jumped back to the very start of what you'd say you were saying on this slide. So if you're completely freaking out, uh, you're stuffed up completely, it, it, it's not recoverable then you can click on this and start recording from the very start. Now, if you've got more than one slide, this button only starts fresh on the particular slide that you're on. So in this case, we've only got one, so it means that it's gonna start from the start. If you've gone onto slide two and you stuff up on slide two, when you click this, it only starts from the second slide. So keep that in mind. Um, that you can start again from there. And again, we just click on resume recording when we're ready to go again. Now our other options here, uh, we can click down here on um, and choose a highlighter or a pen or a laser pointer if we want to point out things in particular. I'm going to change that color, but I could be talking and doing my oral presentation saying the words choose later are connected to the idea that they've taken 130 consecutive shots, so shots in a row, um, and they're trying to promote that you should be able to capture every single moment in life um, and choose later. So it's not an option of going, oh, I can only take one photo. Okay? So you can talk about uh, the different aspects that they're using. The fact I could say, okay, I could draw an arrow here. They've used the color red for her dress. The reason they've used red is because, and give my talk on that. Once I've finished my recording, um, I'm actually going to start again here. Notice that it got rid of my highlights if I pressed resume just then. Uh, sorry, if I pressed repeat because it's starting everything over again. And I want to go back and I want to get my highlighter. And I want to talk again. Blah, 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 and point it out there. Once I've finished, I can um, either click on the next or I can click my spacebar or I can click page down because that will end um, my 
presentation. Now notice down here now, it has a little speaker, which means that it's recorded onto this. You'll also notice my highlighting remained of my second go there. Now to check that you are happy with what you have recorded, you want to be in the slideshow tab still, and you want to go from beginning. Now we've recorded it in time, so it will actually play for the amount of time that you've recorded. So we play. Okay, so I've checked that everything I've said is correct. Uh, that just takes me to a black screen once I've, I've clicked on the end and I have to click to get out of it. So that's a really simple way to record a show. Now when we save it, because we want to make sure that we can upload it and it's fine and we're not going to lose anything, you can upload it to Compass as a um, PowerPoint presentation. Um, another option when you click on save as, uh, let's just go to here, save as, instead of having PowerPoint presentation as your save as type, you can click down on that and actually save it as an MPEG-4 video. Okay, so you can save it as an MPEG-4 video and that will actually produce a video. Let's do test. for you 10 English. Once I click on save, uh, you'll notice down the bottom creating video test for year 10 English. Now when I go into that, that just play that'll just play as a normal video. Okay, so that's one option to do your oral presentation.